So I wanted to show you the dough. Look how pretty that dough is. It's really just uh, almost silky looking. Looks like a really pretty dough. But anyway, we're gonna let it rise in here until it's doubled in size. doubled in bulk. So we need to add onto the counter. I'm going to flour up our counter here so it doesn't stick. And let's put some on here. And I might want to get a little in my cup just in case I need a little more. We're going to just get this out of here somehow. Turn it out onto the counter. And we're supposed to let it rest with a towel covered over it for about 10 minutes. So we will come back. In 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. And now we're going to roll these out to about a 16 by 21, I think is what it said. You know, I had said earlier the dough had a and it is, it's really pretty dough. And I, I think maybe what gives it that uh, really silky look are the eggs that's in the dough. So I guess you just eye it. I'm not gonna get the, get the roller out. <clears throat> but we'll guess. So I have everything mixed up here, the icing and the filling. And we're working for a, instead of the circle here, we're working for a, um, a um, rectangular shape. And we're about to get there, I think. Okay, um, 21 this way, I think. I'm getting confused. Okay, I think that's pretty close. 16, 16, and 21. What do y'all think? I'm not going to make sure it's so. Okay. So now we need a half a cup of butter. Okay, so now we need a third cup of softened butter. We're going to spread this all over our dough. You just calm it on down, buddy. Okay. I'm making a mess. I don't know. Better with really us. Don't know the better way to do it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let me wash my hands. Now we're going to put the um, 
salt and sugar on here. And I'm going to spread it all around. Well, that smells good. I love the smell of, of the cinnamon. And this recipe is, seems to be pretty ah! good about the in ingredients. You know, when I'm making stuff, I always like to have a little more than enough. Uh, especially for the filling or the like icing, anything like that. I like to make sure um, you have enough. But I didn't, I didn't make extra this time because I just had a feeling this might be right. Um, and I think I might. How about that? That was perfect. Okay. So now we're going to take it from the long end. Is this the, yeah, this is the long end. Okay. And start rolling this up. to make 12 cinnamon rolls. So do y'all like cinnamon, Cinnabon as much as I do? <laughs> I love Cinnabon. Um, I like paying for it though. So I think this is good. Of course I really don't need them, but whatever. Just hush, buddy. Just hush. I think that's good. Now, wash my hands, Kim. Okay. So, I'm going to put it in this pan. And I'm going to just put a little oil in here. One thing on the recipe, it says not to over, um, over grease your pan, so we might have too much in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a paper towel and... Okay, it makes 12 rolls. I don't know if I said that a while ago or not. I might have said eight, but it's actually 12. So I'm going to cut this in half. Let's see. So I'm going to need six out of each one of these. So I think if I could keep cutting it. more than six. <laughs> I think we just did. Oh well. Okay, so now we're going to start putting them in here in our pan. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay. Trying to keep everything from falling out of them. Two. This dough is real forgiving and easy to work with. Six, okay.
vide. In 12, in the we got one more mold here. We have another cut in. We still got that end. Let me work that a little. Us another pan to put this in. So I'm going to let these rest over here on the stove. Okay, so I got all of them uh, in a little bitty pan. <laughs> See there? Aren't they cute? Anyway, so let's start my oven preheating at 400, and after it's preheated, then the rolls should be ready to go inside. Um, okay, they've risen and I've just stuck them in the oven. Okay, I just took them out. <laughs> Some of them rose like up really high in the middle. That's weird. Um, so I'm going to put this thing on and let me, you're supposed to put it on when they come out of the oven. So. Let me set this up on my tripod. I'm gonna let the least cool. Okay. What do you think? I'll let them cool just a little bit and then we'll see. If they taste anything like Cinnabon. Go ahead and see if I can get one out. Tearing it completely out. Oops. Wow. God, they're hot. <laughs> well, it's not very pretty but it sure looks tasty. I think after they cool, it'll come out a lot better. Okay. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're so good. Well, I think we have a winner. They turned out, they taste amazing. And they taste just like Cinnabon. So I will put a copy of the recipe in the description so y'all can make these. And I do recommend you trying. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.